everyone, it's Lara from OurOilyHouse.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple homemade shampoo. This has been a very much so requested video and I kind of hesitated to do it because making your own shampoo is not going to be the same as regular shampoo that you buy at the store. So if you are trying to switch to a more natural option with your hair, this is going to be a great recipe to use, but it's going to take a little bit for your hair to get used to it. I made a video here on the YouTube channel a while back about making dry shampoo, and I talked about how you have to kind of train your hair. So the science behind that is every time that you wash your hair, you are washing away the oils that your head naturally makes. And so the more that you wash your hair, the more oils that your hair is going to produce. Now, obviously everyone has different hair types as well. Some people are just more prone to greasy hair than other people. But I used to have to wash my hair every single day and by the end of the day it would look greasy. And now I can wash my hair twice a week because I started washing my hair less. And while I was transitioning to that, my hair definitely did not look the best, but it eventually regulated out on the oils that my head produced. And now I can use this natural shampoo and I can wash my hair way less than I used to. As you are transitioning into a more natural shampoo and getting your scalp making the right amount of oils, you are gonna want to have that dry shampoo recipe that I shared um, on hand because your hair might look greasy and the dry shampoo works really well and it only has a couple ingredients in it. So I'll link that up in the cards and in the description below so you can make that as well. But for the shampoo, it is super simple to make and we are just going to add in one fourth cup of cast oil soap. And then we're gonna do one fourth cup of water. I'm putting mine in a foaming soap container because the cast oil soap does make a foaming soap, but you do not have to put it in here. You can store this in a mason jar, or an old shampoo container that you have. It does not matter how you wanna store it. Either way is totally fine. And then I'm going to add in just a half of a teaspoon of either a fractionated coconut oil. You can use a jojoba oil. Kind of depends on um, which one you prefer best. I'm using a fractionated coconut oil. And this step can be optional. If you have very greasy hair or more on the greasy side of hair, you might want to eliminate this oil. But if you have drier hair, you're gonna to want to put that in. The next step is adding in essential oils. Now, there are a ton of different ways you, you can scent your shampoo or you can even make it to benefit your hair the best. I'm going to be using peppermint, thyme, lavender, and rosemary. These four oils are really good to help thicken and lengthen the hair and help protect against hair loss. So this is a really good blend to use if you just want a blend of oils to add in that's going to be really good for your hair. I also really like to use some citrus oils. Those ones smell really nice. This can be kind of your own discretion. You can create it with this, kind of make the scent that you prefer Prefer. Over on the blog, I shared a few different of my favorite essential oil blends. For this amount of shampoo, so we did the quarter of a cup of cast oil soap and a quarter cup of water, I'm going to add in about 15 to 20 drops of essential oil total. Now this recipe will be very easy to either double or cut in half if you decide you want to make more or less. So I'm just gonna add in my essential oils and then we're just going to put the lid on this and this is gonna be ready to use. When you go to use your shampoo, you're just going to get your hair all wet like you normally do. And then you're just gonna put about a quarter size amount of shampoo into your hair and then just really massage it into the hair, into your scalp. And you're going to see this is going to be a lot thinner than your traditional shampoo, but it still really does suds up and lather really nicely. And it really helps keep your hair clean and healthy. Now, if you want to make your shampoo be a little bit creamier, you can substitute coconut milk for the water to make a coconut 
based shampoo and that one works really nice as well but this one is simple and this really does work well just with the water and the cast all soap and your essential oils of choice. In the description below, you can find my ebook with a few of my other favorite household products that I make with my essential oils. And if you are looking for more essential oil education, you can check out my free online class. That's also linked down in the description. And if this is your first time by my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home, health, and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.